Yeah, I mean, obviously the early goal was rough, but I thought in the towards the last uh, you know 25 to 30 minutes in the first half we responded well. Um, we just tried to stay focused. Yeah, right. Phillips with a big knife. Then what makes him so tough to defend? Um, I mean, obviously he knows where to be at the right times, and um, you know, he got fortunate on the on the early finish on the on the first goal. How do you guys bounce back from from this game? Yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of staying positive. You know. Um, we're still in a great, great spot, um, and the focus is Dallas now. A um, couple different guys coming back from injuries and just guys that had kind of been out for a little while. Um, does that kind of change the way that you guys play together whenever you're kind of not used to playing each other with each other? Uh, no. Um, you know, I think we've proven throughout the year that our, our chemistry is good um, through the whole squad. Um, and I think, uh, you know, I think it's just a matter of staying positive and bouncing back. You guys have been able to bounce back from games like this in the past. What's the key? What's what is it about this locker room that helps you guys do that? Sure. I mean, we're close knit. Um, we stay even keel. Obviously, when we do well, we're not we're not riding too high. And you know, when we take rough results, we take them in stride. So we're just looking to do that. And um, luckily, we have a have another game coming up soon. A lot of different talented guys in their attack. We talked about Ray Phillips, but also some other guys that can do a lot. Um, does it kind of keep the pressure on you guys when you know that whenever somebody's on the ball, they can make a play? Um, in a way, yeah. But also in a way, it gave it gave us a lot of chances um, on the on the back end. It, it creates an open game, as you saw, and um, you know, unfortunately, we weren't on the on the on the winning end tonight. But it's about th it's about Wednesday now.